This video I'm making is for anyone who's seeking hope in the world and understanding. This is for any Bible believing brother or sister in the Lord Jesus Christ uh, looking for it, edification and edification and understanding regarding the uh, mystery Babylon, the Illuminati, the One World Order, the New World Order, Freemasonry and the world systems and uh, religions and beliefs and loyalties and compromise. Um, I'm doing this video for just to reveal the basic workings of uh, man's kingdoms, Satan's kingdom and looking at uh, by the word of God what the Lord Jesus Christ has already re revealed by his testimony, by his holy word from the beginning the nature of man, the nature of Israel, the nature of the the devil, the uh, fallen angel, the principality the fallen principalities that work behind man's nature and the fall of nature through inherited sin so I'm looking at the going to be doing a expose of the basics of where all that's going on in the world where we are in modern uh, in our in in today's world where we are in the uh, where we are in prophecy uh, in the last days in eschatology uh, looking at the mystery Babylon the the mother of harlots and looking at all all that's in the scriptures where it is in action today where is it working so I'm going to be describing man's plan of salvation God's plan of salvation for mankind for his fallen nature and inherited sinfulness and how the devil controls that at will, how the whole world is yoked to this principality, this power because it's not in the way, it's not in the word, it's not in the heart, mind and will of God, it's not it's not believed, it's not repented, it's not sought after and been drawn to the uh, grace of God in Jesus Christ that, uh, gave his life to save, to die for all the sins of mankind, he died for all men, that they may escape judgment, eternal judgment, because they're sinful, and they've inherited sin, and sin is genetically passed on, and environments grow up, becoming more sinful, and turning from that which is right, uh, and true which is the way the truth and the life which was revealed in Jesus Christ so I'm looking what the Holy Word has revealed from eternity through the prophets the burden of the prophets through the word of the Lord Jesus Christ his ministry his gospel in defense of his gospel that was once preached that is preached that was preached from the beginning that remains true as it did in the time of Abraham and the seed of Israel as it was taught them and how it's uh, fulfilled in the free Jesus Christ in his death burial and resurrection and how he he completely he ended the law he completed the law he was the author of the law and the finisher of the law and he's got the keys to hell and death he was sin for all sinful nature which 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 consequence of sin brings forth death and because you die in your sin you go into hell because hell is the eternal judgment of God being outside of God's heart, mind and will so Jesus Christ died for in all's place to suffer all their sin to pay their to pay the penalty and consequence to pay for their death and escape hell because he was God, he was from God, sent from God. He, beca he became um, 
a man. He was holy and sovereign and holy God in man's body, in flesh. And he gave his life up in the, to do the will of the Father. And he is equal with the Father, from the Father, and has always been with the Father. And that's where he is today, on the right hand. And he's given his life up to deliver all men from eternal judgment and hell, the lake of fire. And he died in all's place and left us a faithful record in his word, the gospel, that if you believe and have faith and believe with all your heart and realise you're a sinner you're, and you're going to hell, you're going to judgment because you can't, be changed from the inside out. You can't do anything to change your sinful nature. And that's why Jesus died, that he would save all men that believed and trusted in him, called upon his name, have mercy on me, a sinner. Not necessarily to say it, but to come to an end of your, of your own ideas or the world's ideas in fixing the, the world and, and building up a, a kingdom man's kingdom to fix all the world's problems and uh, be judge and jury over what's right and wrong and Christ has always been eternally right and he was sent from heaven to show us the right way and he died to show us the right way he gave his life up and his kingdom's in heaven it's an eternal kingdom and he was the king and he came with the kingdom in his heart, taught the kingdom and gave his life up. And God rose him from the grave, rose him from hell. And he took his life up and escaped hell for, uh, and returned to heaven, appearing to many witnesses, which we have a faithful record. And we have a faithful God who gave that record. And he's exposed who because of he's been rejected, why the world is going, how it's going to end, because he conquered all sin and all principalities on the cross by his holiness, because he's the way, he's the truth, and he demonstrated the way and the truth. And that puts an end to all that is not in the way, that is counterfeit, that is against the truth. And this is what I'm going to be exposing. And I'm going to be looking at not the identity of the Antichrist, and, but to look at what Jesus has already revealed about the nature of Satan, the nature of the Antichrist, because Satan's a deceiver, he's a liar, and he's vain, and he's, uh, he was once in, in light, he was once a created angel of God, intelligent and the most um, highest angel and he was eternally completed and founded in God's love in heart, mind and will but he sinned, he wanted to take God's place, he took root and he, he couldn't um, God couldn't have him in his presence because he was against all that God is. He was against the heart of his creator, so he was banished. So he's, he's, he's an intelligent being that was once all good, but now he's got a fallen, unfounded, eternal, condemned nature. But he knows, he knows good, he knows light. And he's manifest through evil man because all, all fallen nature is related to that spiritual nature. It's a product of that spiritual nature. It's a consequence of that genetic corruption from the beginning as it's been revealed in Genesis because of the fall of man and sin entered in the world. And sin has an avenue and mankind, through Satan, has learned to manipulate the nature and development of that sin and, and put on the face of goodness to do evil in, in the name of goodness. And um, I'm going to demonstrate 
all, all the mechanisms and, and what's behind these models, these establishments and their nature and how they reflect, as, God, as the Lord Jesus Christ revealed, how they reflect man's fallen nature, his vanity, his lust, the golden carrot in life and his and this all ties into mystery Gnostic religions and mystery Babylon, paganism, mystery Babylon. And I'm going to show you who's behind these orders and how they all work together in a conspiracy. Not only in part a direct conspiracy, conspiracy but an ambiguous conspiracy, conspiracy like loads of independent groups of thieves around the world burglary teams, um, organised crime gangs. They're not, they don't all know each other, but they're all united in their same desire to rip people off and make a living out of the backs of crime. So they're united in their design, in their desire, in their motive. And this is how all these secret societies work ambiguously. And the whole world is compromised because of its nature. So I'm going to show you the simple model and the divisions and how Satan has used man through the mystery Babylonian religious schools and how that they all have been deceived and they believe that they are uh, like they've been deceived, they, de they, they deceive others and that they believe like uh, all the vanities of the Lucifer from his nature, his uh, vain ambition, his lust, and how, how to lie and kill and spill blood to justify their own self-righteousness, their own cause, their own religion, their own vain ideology and worship, what they believe, and how there's the nature's... Um, united through all these different secret societies, through all these mystery Gnostic religions and practices, through the occult, through masonry, Kabbalism, and I'm going to show you where that all comes from and how it all disagrees with each other because they all believe different things but how they all unite together and this is where this false unity comes from this false let's all hold hands and tolerate uh, evil and, and call that which was good evil and that which is evil good and how anything goes and how that permeates through the ignorant culture who are deliberately kept ignorant to be fed and engineered and socially engineered by this corrupt human dominance of nature, how Christ has exposed that and how he's exposed already to the Jews that uh, they would, because they turn their back on Christ and the way and the Messiah and the Word of God, they've also turned their back on their Father, on God the Father. So the the Jews are in broke the covenant, and God's restored their covenant through His Son, but they rejected His Son. So they need to like all all the world. They need to repent and accept Christ's righteousness, Christ's holiness, and put off their unrighteousness. Come to an end of their own righteousness and the world's righteousness <coughs> and accept Christ and and believe and call upon his name and he's faithful and promised to save all people so Israel is lost and I'm going to share the scriptures that shows how he promised because they rejected Christ they will they will accept a false messiah they will set, accept the antichrist and he's revealed through the prophets the burden of the prophets and how Israel again and again and again as the Lord mercifully led them and drew them unto himself they, they turned away to idols and, and vanity and lust and murder and he brought them back time and time again but they kept turning back to 
idolatry, pagan, Babylonian, mystery religions and the worshipping of vain idols and putting their children through rituals and all sorts of abominations and then it got uh, sexually perverse and then they turn away then the world becomes corrupted so we're looking at core evils and it's it's um, historic root through nature and how that permeates through all seed, all, all mankind, the Jew and the Gentile, the heathen and the, the lost seed, the ungrafted seed of, uh, of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Um, and how Christ is revealed. So I want to look at, um, let's look at a scripture in uh, the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel. And it's uh, out of focus. Chapter nineteen. Now, this is. Um, I'm not going to read chapter twenty, but you really need to um, the context of the the prophecy. Now the. The prophet here is, uh, now if you consider the burden of Ezekiel, the Lord's burden revealed in, in, in his prophet Ezekiel, how he, um, he wasn't allowed to show any remorse when his wife died to show Israel how God feels about their rebellion and how time and time again he's helped them but they've rejected and become rebellious and and then there's a time where he gets uh, Ezekiel to ne need food in front of the, Isra the camp of Israel and do it in uh, human excrement and mix it and cook it and eat it in front of them and he, he says to the Lord oh, I can't I can't do that I can't eat it myself and the Lord says that's okay I've reserved some dung for you so you make yours out of dung and then um, perform this in front of them and make it in front of them and then bake it and then serve it up to them so the Lord's showing his contempt through this this man, this this prophet that he's called unto himself and revealing the word and the will towards Israel. And we're looking at chapter 19, which basically gives the history, the Lord's appealing to Israel and giving them a synopsis of the history of what he's done for them. And it's going, it's a, if we look at verse... Of chapter uh, chapter nineteen, verse fourteen, um, at the very last. Uh, this, sorry if it's not focused. Uh, this is a lamentation and shall be for a lamentation. Now, bearing in mind, this is a uh, prophecy. So this prophecy is eternal. So the Lord, through his prophet, has given, given his heart, mind and will, his word and his will, and it's a lamentation. And it's what the Lord has suffered, and, he's, and it's, going to be, it's going to come to pass. And it's going to be a lamentation, as it says. Shall be for a lamentation. This is a lamentation and shall be for a lamentation, so it's final. So Israel's fate, Israel's consequence of their rebellion and returning to Babylonian rituals and idol worship and sacrifices, they turn from the Lord, even in the Old Covenant, and... Uh, Christ died to restore the covenant for them and put away the the law which was to help them correct them it was to bring them into line but the law convicts the Jew because the law was taught to the Jews that, that all men are sinful and Christ came to put an end to the law 
that through his righteousness we can be saved in his sinlessness and fulfill the law which is love, which is love thy neighbour as thyself. But we can only do that through repentance and believing in Jesus Christ and that's the gospel. And he's revealing to Ezekiel the consequences of the time and time again Israel has rejected the Lord's hand outstretched. So the lamentation and consequences, the coming, like the Lord said, because you reject the Prince, capital P, you will accept. This is the prophecy of Daniel. This is what the Lord said directly in his ministry. He said to the seed of Israel, to the disciples, he said because, and he said to the unbelieving apostate Israel, who had turned away from the word, they've turned away from the Torah, they turned away from the right way and had been corrupted with Babylonian mystery religions, pagan mystery religions and they were corrupted and it was all woven into a divided two-faced body, a, a, a two-faced natural body of, of hierarchy of power and they were rejected the the Lord because they did they were so out of the way of of the word of the of the of the Torah of the law and they couldn't recognize their savior because they turned from him and it's historical so it's genetical and the Lord uh, saved out of the, those seed who the, those that believed and he uh, he died to save the Jew and the Gentile and his salvation is today and he's outstretched to the Jew and the Gentile because they rejected him they're going to accept the uh, Antichrist the false Messiah and, and throughout the word and throughout the Holy Scriptures in the King James 1611 they've uh, the Lord has revealed the nature of the Antichrist, the nature of, because it's of Satan, it's of the fallen, it's of Lucifer, the devil, who's of Satan, who's Satan, and the Antichrist is a manifestation of Satan in the flesh. And this uh, person is going to be overtaken, and he's going to come with powers, lying signs and deceivable wonders. He's going to be have access to all secret technologies and all all the um, beast system, all all the corrupt mechanism, all the power principalities that operate on the earth. He's going to have all the toys, and it, and the Lord in Ezekiel has revealed where this where this man, where this man of sin, this lawless person has come from. And he's given us light throughout the scriptures, the sort of area and the sort of um, bosom of where this seed has come from. And it's from the apostate seed of Israel. And the Lord has, uh, I'm going to read the scripture and it will, I will share it where the, where the Old Testament prophet gives a prophecy of the... Uh, Antichrist and the lamentation, the unfolding of Israel's history. <coughs> and if we look through the further through the other prophecies, how the Lord's going to bring Israel back to the land, and they're going to be um, melted in the pot, and He's going to save a faithful remnant. But two thirds of Israel are going to be trampled, and the Antichrist is going to deceive and divide. Uh, Israel up and it's all been revealed in the revelation how in the seven year period he's going to appear and deceive and he's going to deceive the whole earth, the whole world, he's going to deceive Israel but not all people are going to believe him and follow him so he's going to be after the faithful remnant and he's going to be after anyone who's uh, faithful to the Christian 
the Christian belief in Jesus Christ in in the Word of God. So he's going to be out to destroy and put down and establish the kingdom or take up the reins of the kingdom that already is on the earth, which I will further elaborate on and, and share. But I'm going to get into uh, Ezekiel chapter 19. Um, right. Moreover, take thou up a lamentation for the princes of Israel. So this is towards the princes of Israel. The princes would be the, uh, the, the leaders of a nation in our current day, in any, or in any family, in any tribe or any bloodline. They're the, the ruling heads of, of that that bloodline, Jacob's bloodline, so the princes are the prominent um, dominance of the of the seed, of the genetic inheritance, so they're the print, it's speaking of a lamentation for the, the princes, so that's key. <coughs> and say, what is thy mother? So what is thy uh, inheritance? What is thy what is thy womb? What is thy genetics? What is thy uh, nurture? Who is thy nurturer? And the Lord's not waiting for a, an answer. He, he, he immediately gives the explanation. Uh, question mark. A lioness. She lay down among lions. She nourished her whelps among young lions. And she brought up one of her whelps. It became a young lion and it learned to catch the prey. devoured men learned to catch the prey it devoured men the nations also heard of him he was taken in their pit and they brought him with chains unto the land of Egypt now when she saw that she had waited and her hope was lost then she took another of her whelps and made him a young lion. So the Lord's showing the, in, in an analogy the, the development of the seed of Israel and how they grow into a, a generation and how that, that whelp becomes a lion, it becomes powerful and realises its potential. But when it does good, when it follows the way and the word, it's blessed. And the Lord wanted to bless Israel and teach it the way that it could bless all the other nations. But if it went the other way, then it would become a curse and it would curse the other nations and they would get mixed up together. So the hope would be lost for mankind and the door and the way to God would be closed up to all there to Israel and to the rest of the world because Israel apostas was apostate and then any influence it had on in the world was also apostate and uh, so this is given a history of its development and character and also its apostasy its uh, rebellion I'm going to read on now when she saw that she had waited and her hope was lost, then she took another of her whelps and made him a young lion. And he went up and down among the lions. He became a young lion. And he went up and down among the lions. He became a young lion and learned to catch the prey and devoured men. And he knew their desolate places and he laid waste their cities. And the land was desolate and the fullness thereof by the noise of his, of his roaring. 
Then the nations set against him on every side from the provinces and spread their net over him. He was taken in their pit and they put him in ward, inward in chains and brought him to the, the king of Babylon. They brought him into holds and his voice should no more be heard upon the mountains of Israel. So the Lord pleaded in his in in he delivered the Lord uh, Israel from Egypt and taught them in the wilderness and they become a great nation and he took them into the land and they f they f they followed the way they were obedient and it was because of the Lord's mercy but Israel by nature is always rebellious from the beginning and the Lord is merciful, he destroys the most wicked and he, he, he saves those that repent, those who come and follow his way, those that believe and those that were faithful he took into the land of Israel and then through their righteousness, through his righteousness revealed in their, in their, in their lives, in their families, in their in, through their mothers and fathers, through the patriarchs and the prophets, they live righteously. And because of their righteousness, God used Israel to judge the wicked pagan nations. But then they get big, then Israel gets big for its boots, then it apostatizes, it takes root, it turns from God and re retains its own self righteousness and it goes treading on people and this was a consequence of the captivity because Israel would deny God, deny their, 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 their author, deny their father, deny the creator and the, the living truth and uh, they were taken in, they would be taken into captivity as a consequence for being out of the way and the Lord would use these pagan nations to to take Israel into captivity in a net and then bind them in a stronghold and then those those nations and it says the king of Babylon so the the power the head of those nations would incorporate the blessings and what Israel was with, with its strengths and its cunning and all its all its uh, knowledge and all its talent and it would utilize it for itself and after a while um, that inheritance that gets washed some of it gets lost some of it doesn't and these and that's what it's saying is that her voice, that his voice should no more be heard upon the mountains of Israel so the, do the nation of Israel is, is not dominantly uh, righteous on the mountains of Israel where the Lord would have it which is where it will, would bless the world if it was righteous, if it was holy, if it knew God if it had, was restored to the covenant, if it was grafted in through faith in Jesus Christ in their Messiah, that then they would be a righteous nation. But the Antichrist is going to deceive the nation of Israel because he wants to pose as the prince, as, as the king, as the Messiah. Because in his heart, Satan once believes that he, he believed he could uh, overthrow God. And Christ has defeated him on the cross. And that's going to unfold because that's the nature of man. And God has revealed what's in the nature of man. And that the nature of man came because of Satan in the fall. And it's Satan's nature, the fall of Satan's nature, revealed through man, is going to bring the judgment, is going to bring the great tribulation, is going to bring. Jacob's trouble which is seven years of judgment where Israel will be in the center so this antichrist is going to come from the seed of Israel he's going to be he's not going to be um, 
a Torah believing, like you, um, a gentle, you know, um, family orientated who keeps himself separate from the mainstream world and who's faithful to their tradition. They're not um, un they're not wicked. They're not um, practicing evil secretly. They're they're just uh, like normal uh, a normal community, but with their religious traditions. Uh, the, uh, the Antichrist is is going to be, um, uh, which I will reveal. He's going to be a cabalist. He's going to be an apostate, um, Luciferian. He's going to be vain. He's going to be uh, into the mystery Babylon, the school, you know. But he's going to have his own vanity, and Satan's uh, heart is to deceive all these mystery religious men all these deceived secret societies who they all believe they're on the right side and they're all enlightened it's all a deception and satan needs the uh, antichrist to be completely t deceived and he will even deceive those he's going to who are going to give him power who who are going to worship him he is going to be completely for his own master himself and his his self is satan is the devil and the, he's going to bring all these men into judgment he's going to bring israel into judgment he's going to judge israel he's going to judge and it's all going to he's going to judge the catholic church he's going to judge all the false harlots all the sisters of the harlot all the ecumenical false religious um, yoke of uh, corrupt religion, of uh, watered-down Christianity, of state-owned uh, Freemasonic, um, Kabbalistic religious um, monuments and uh, religious orders that's woven into our, into our nation. And he's going to deceive all these people. And they're all deceived together they've all been compromised and it's compromised the world and the world's in in sin so i'm going to read on with the scripture and uh, finish the prophecy thy mother is like like a vine in the blood in thy blood planted by the waters she was fruitful and full of branches by reason of many waters. I'm just going to read a scripture from uh, Proverbs. So this is talking about the heritage of Israel, the mother, the mother of Israel, and the uh, you know the righteous men and the right the righteous mothers, the righteous fathers, the righteous grandmothers and fathers, and the righteous patriarchs that were faithful that believed that believed in God and believed in the Messiah in their Messiah to come in the kingdom to come which was in heaven which was a heavenly kingdom and they were faithful they had faith and belief um, Proverbs, I think it's the last chapter of Proverbs uh, the words of King Lemuel the prophecy that his mother taught him what my son and what son of my womb and what the son of my vows give not thy strength unto women nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings it is not for kings O Lemuel it is not for kings to drink wine nor for princes strong drink lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts, and so forth. So this mother was counselling her son, who is a king, a king of Israel, or, or a prince of Israel. And so the heritage of Israel is from the mother, the nurturing of the mother, and the, the example and the teachings of the father. So... That's what the Lord is conveying to 
the, the roots of Israel and um, reminding them where who their mother was and where they come from because they keep rebelling and turning away from from his heart and she had strong rods for the sketches of them that bear rule so they had the Lord's righteousness they were sanctified by the Lord's righteousness and her stature was exalted among the thick branches so all, so all all, all the seed of Israel would see the stature of the leadership of the elders of the people in the community that looked after everyone else and made judgments to keep all things in order and all things just and uh, she appeared in her height with the multitude of her branches and this is the uh, the Lord's lamentation verse 12 but she was plucked up in fury. She was cast down to the ground. And the east wind dried up her fruit. Her strong rods were broken and withered. The fire cons consumed them. And now she is planted in the wilderness in a dry and um, thirsty grounds, in ground. The fire has gone out of a rod of her branches, which have devoured her fruit, so that she have no strong rod to be a sceptre to rule. This is a lamentation, shall be for a lamentation. So, the complete prophecy is, is a summary, a synopsis of the history of beginning to end of Israel, that the Lord's giving and reminding his prophet to go and tell Israel of that generation which is a prophecy for all Israel and all generations preserved in the Holy Word um, if we go to uh, Psalm 12 this is very uh, apparent to today in prophecy and uh, the more we get closer to the uh, the calling away of the Lord's uh, bride of the, the faithful saints who've believed, who are going to be who are delivered from this Jacob's trouble. Um, as we get nearer that time, as we're approaching that time, and it's approaching into the season of Jacob's trouble, prophecy becomes more sharper. Contrast is. is is it's easy it's you recognize where we are in the world's history and God's probation and that the whole world is still remains under condemnation so if you're looking for if you're lost you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ and you want to escape eternal his eternal consequence because the whole world is guilty of compromise and because they've rejected his son Jesus Christ they are they remain in their genetic corrupted inherited nature they're sinful they're no good they're rejects they might have good in them we're, we're all born with that genetic corruption um, and we can all do good, we can all do evil, we have agency but our nature is predominantly found unfounded so we're liars and Christ called us by his light, by his holiness, liars and anyone that doesn't believe him is a liar and an antichrist and that's the truth, he's revealed the truth and um, He's revealed all of his heart, mind and will throughout all the prophets. So if you're lost, you need to um, come to an end and realise that and seek his forgiveness, seek, seek his eternal forgiveness by faith. And he's faithful and pr true to give you that forgiveness. And once you've received his forgiveness, you're forgiven forever past, present and future sins are forgiven and each day you live by faith so you live by 
faith in his eternal sacrifice which put an end to the law which convicts all of sin and we're all sinful and God is holy and just and he's judged the world on the cross by his holiness and he's put all sin in hell and his invitation is to believe to call upon his name when they believe and escape the judgments of hell which is for the devil and his angels but the devil and his angels want to deceive all mankind and drag them down to hell and lead them into hell to keep them from the way the way established from eternity which is the word the way, the truth and the life and he's revealed if what will happen clearly is if he's rejected he's revealed it to Israel through the prophets he's revealed it to the saints in, in the New Testament in the apostles he revealed his revelation to the apostles and the church the believers who believed in him and called upon his name and received a faithful witness that he's true and they received his word his way, his light and they've received his love and mercy and they're able to um, see in his light and love, love their neighbour as themselves and that by doing that they are fulfilling the law they are fulfilling the heart, mind and will of God by faith they are holy by faith by trusting in he whose righteousness whose holiness is a free gift and he imputes that righteousness into the faithful believer uh, Psalm 12 and as we get to the end times in this last days of this world the world continues on in its own way going its own way and it's lost and the Lord's revealed both sides of the coin through the prophets um, Psalm 12 help Lord for the godly man ceaseth for the faithful fall from among the children of men so all, all the good people, all the people who stand up against evil and corruption and all that's wrong and the enemy's heart is to destroy A, the law, to destroy Christianity to destroy all that came from Christianity in our nation in the UK that was uh, Protestantism that was the law, that was justice, soberness temperance, honesty that was being uh, scientifically true and using the law of witnesses that's where all the good from our nation's country uh, for our nation's law, for our nation's education for our nation's independent culture and heritage which the enemy has destroyed through its its model its model and philosophy which is from Roman Catholicism and it's against all that is uh, conservative, all that against this that's salty, all that against the family and common decency. And it's turned it upside down through its lies, through its devices. <coughs> and so for all the faithful fail from among the children of men, because all the chief seats, all the judges, and all the police, and all the nation's military, and all the politicians, and all... All, all the services, all the princes, all those avenues, all the civil service are all corrupted because the faithful fail from among the children of men because of sinful nature, because of inherited sin. They speak vanity, everyone with his neighbour, with flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak. So they're two-faced and they've got double they swing around in a wing you know they're like flags look at let's look at the um you know the royal wedding recently the uh, satanic luciferian freemasonic uh, liberal church of england that's yoked to the uh, roman catholic catholic ecumenical movement of joining all the churches into one religion under the false authority of the Roman Catholic Church you know that is such hip hypocrisy to be re to reverent and holy and, f 
and in in our nation's um, established law to um, mock the Lord Jesus Christ and his holy blood and his word and to not speak out against all the uh, the truth about Islam and the truth about uh, Roman Catholicism and ch being participant in breaking down our social structure and um, chopping up our our, in our heritage, our history, and teaching false history, teaching rubbish, teaching their history, their their social engineering to corrupt and break up the generations and to destroy the continuity of our heritage, of our Christian heritage that was founded by righteous, right living and people gave their lives and blood and were killed as heretics by the enemy and that's the Catholic Church that's the ba and behind the Catholic Church is the Babylonian mystery religious bodies uh, the Catholic Church is like a doll's house and it's it's got a dual natured body behind it and they put their hands into the doll's house and operate the pieces and they utilize it as a as a window front and it raises up believers and it's got amongst it corrupt believers it's got a division in it it's been uh, hijacked and it ha it's not christianity it's it it's a uh, imitation of christianity and it has raised up a, a model on it on a demonstrate that in a bit in a minute the lord shall cut off all flattering lips and and the tongue that speak of proud things who have said with our tongue we will prevail our lips are our own who is lord over us for the oppression of the poor for the sighing of the needy now will i arise saith the lord i will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him the words of the Lord are pure words, as silver and tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt preserve, thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. So the Lord's preserved this faithful word. It's true. It's eternal. It's from heaven. The word Jesus Christ was sent from eternity, from heaven, who is equal with the Father. He's the Son of the Father. And he has equal authority with the Father. And he came in the flesh and he's the word of God sent. And he's left us a faithful record. He left us a faithful record to the Old Testament prophets. And he left us a, a faithful revelation in the New Testament and the establishing of his gospel. And the, uh, the word from the beginning, which is eternal in heaven on the right hand of God equal to God and he's going to come for his church and, and the world's going to go into judgment and Israel's going to be right in the bosom of that judgment and that's when the Lord's going to save Israel as a nation but only one third as the prophecy reveals only one third of those people will be saved and the Antichrist will, will try and take over Israel and all the antichrist agents that have woven themselves into the fabric of Israel's lives that would be the two thirds or the amongst the two thirds who are going to get destroyed they're going to get judged and the antichrist is going to try and use them to use to deceive the world and, and smear all the Jews to take over to appear as a Jew all the enemy wants to use the antichrist all the enemy, all the beast system, all the enemy that, that's working for the Antichrist now have appeared as Jews to be Jews. They've appeared as Christians to corrupt Christianity. They've appeared as uh, Tories to corrupt uh, the Tory party. They appear as Labour politicians to corrupt the Labour party. Uh, this is a wicked machination that is played out and the... Uh, apostate Jews and the mystery schools and all, all the all the enemy and their machinations behind Zionism and the 
uh, corruption of those those nations rights and their governments to infiltrate and influence and steer it to its own will and utilize the desire of cultivated desire of that culture and nation and steer it into its own the building up of its own kingdom its own kingdom of righteousness and then to lead the world into its way of thinking but it's not going to be by righteousness it's going to be, be by lies and power and spilling of blood and this is the two thirds in the heart of Israel but there's a, a third in Israel that are not in that you can't take all of the Jewish people by the evil of one one core evil branch like you can't you know uh, taint all nations by the behaviour of one evil group of individuals uh, but it does uh, leave a mark it leaves a stain on that of all people and we're all stained every nation is guilty of uh, spilling innocent blood and uh, Israel's no different and Israel's got its own corrupt pagan practices it's um, mystery religions so is um, the western world so is America so is Great Britain it's rife everywhere through every nation and this uh, mystery school has permeated, permeated for the rejection uh, of God and, it's, and their way is perverse it's um, Im an imitation of that which is and God has revealed by being the truth that which is true is revealed in man's heart and the world all that which is not which is a false model which is uh, anti-Christ which is anti-law anti-freedoms anti-truth and anti-morals and it's lawless and these people are masons these people are cabalists these people are all the people you see holding up all the chief seats in the world the princes so let's not not just the princes of Israel but the princes of the uh, the Gentile world the heathen nations the um, Western nations and all nations and this um, at the heart is and and at the heart of all this evil and woven into the modern world and the modern structure and frameworks of the world is this mystery religion this Gnosticism and it permeates and it's compromised all the world and even even the ignorant people general public are compromised and affected and nurtured by this mystery engine this mystery Gnostic Babylonian Luciferian influence and it cultivates and raises has an influence on each generation and each generation has had its heritage uh, uh, the true way and heritage chopped up so all it sees is the, the uh, all the division all the fracturing all the deliberate that Satan's tried to break up all, all the independent nations all the independent cultures or local cultures and merge it into all one big mess that he can so it can be crudely united into one kingdom and that's his heart and that was worked out through the king of Babylon that was played out through you know this is in the hearts of all world dom leaders want to dominate the world and pl live out that motive live out that nature that fallen satanic vain nature to bring all work all all into subjection using war to uh, bring about peace using lies and deception and, and compromise to bring about its idea of a world united order and each body each corrupt evil ambiguous body has got its own idea of what that order is <coughs> but it's all of the same nature um, <coughs> so Israel is going to be a, is a lamentation it's going to come to an end and I'm going to complete off the um, now you need to read um, 
chapter 20 it gives a bit more insight into what the Lord has worked through Israel, his people and what they rejected and the consequence I'm going to look at um, just the, about the Antichrist coming from the seed now remember in verse 12 but she was plucked up in fury she was cast down to the ground and the east winds dried up her fruit her strong rods were broken and withered her fire consumed them and now she is planted in the wilderness right so now she's in the wilderness in a dry and first uh, thirsty ground and fire has gone out of a rod of her branches right so fire so the consequence of fire is judgment is uh, it's gone out of her branches which have devoured her free so any good thing is unfounded by Israel so any practice so a fire is this is looking at the uh, a rod is a princely authoritative line in the, in, in the seed of Israel a rod a fire has gone out of a rod of her branches which have devoured her fruit so it's going to it's going to bring it into judgment it's going to burn all its works it's going to burn anything it does it's going to come to uh, judgment uh, condemnation damnation so that she have no strong rod to be sceptre or to rule this is lamentation right so the antichrist is going to be a consequence coming from this branch this rod of apostate turned away Israel and it's for it is going to devour itself no rod is um, no, uh, uh, no strong rod to be a sceptre to rule so it's going to have no authority like the antichrist he's going to come on a white horse in, in the deceiver in, in, in the name of peace he's going to have a bow but he's going to have no arrow he's going to have no authority because that authority has been robbed by the Lord Jesus Christ only Christ has got the silver arrow and the keys to hell and death. Satan's got no authority. Israel's got no authority without the Messiah. The Catholic Church have got no authority. They haven't got any authority from Peter. Peter's authority was Jesus Christ. All souls' authority is a gift from Jesus Christ to be the governing head of their lives, to be the fount. <coughs> the foundation of their existence the being of their existence the purpose of their existence for his glory for his love for his word not man's kingdom but God's kingdom that already is and established so we look, I'm going to look at the um, right, uh, chapter 21 I think uh, Chapter 21, verse 25. Yeah, 25 there. Uh, and it shall be unto them as a false divination in their sight to them that have sworn oaths but he will call to remembrance the iniquity that that they may be taken therefore thus said the Lord God because ye have made your iniquity to be remembered in that your transgressions are discovered so that in all your doings your sins do appear because I say that ye are come to remembrance ye shall be taken with, with the hand and thou, profane, wicked prince of Israel, whose day is come, when iniquity shall have an end. So the Lord's prophesying here that um, because of their iniquities, and they've been discovered, that uh, possibly discovered by by the world and the rest of the world, they come to light, and it will bring about judgment. And the wicked prince, the Lord's saying, the wicked prince of Israel, because they rejected the true prince of peace, Jesus Christ, they're going to accept um, the wicked prince. Um, in verse, uh, verse 26, 
Uh, no, uh, 20, uh, verse 25. Um, I'm reading a different book, different scripture. Uh, and thou profane wicked prince of Israel, this is verse 25, whose day is come when iniquity shall have an end. Thus serve the Lord God, remove the diadem and take off the crown that shall not be the same, that shall not be the same. Exalt him that is low, and abase him that is high. I will overturn, overturn, overturn it, and it shall be no more, until he come, whose right it is, and I will give it him. So the Lord's prophesying that the, the wicked prince of Israel, claiming authority, claiming that, that power claiming that throne falsely and it's through the um, transgression and the transgression of Israel is idolatry idol worship through the vain mystery schools cabalism and um, how King Solomon fell and worshipped all the pagan mystery religions with all the blood rituals and all the all the sex pagan sex magic and that's where the wicked prince is going to come from you know, come or come from a line associated to those that body of people uh, or um and go, but he's going to be from the seed of israel whether that's just a from a a a branch of religious uh israel that believes it's in line to be the the high priest it could he could come from that line and then get overtaken and take root in himself and lead Israel because they're, they're investing him as the Messiah because they're looking for their Messiah and they're probably looking looking through bloodlines they're probably looking out for him through all the mystery religious avenues and, and they all worship all these mystery schools are all worshiping their saviour to come or their you know the person who's going to bring the kingdom who's going to fix the world who's going to be the champion because they've rejected the true champion and victor christ he's already victorious he's cre he's the creator he's holy he's always been true and he's been the victor from the beginning and he demonstrated his victory by giving his life up because he's been rejected you're going to get the antithesis, you're going to get the the fake Christ, you're going to get the fake Messiah, and he's going to come through the Jewish bloodline, as the scripture reveals. And it's, and it's um, from the heart, right, I'm going to show you some um, diagrams. Right, I'm going to pause because I, I need a break, and then I'm going to come back. Right, what we're looking at here, uh, to my brothers and sisters, um, looking for edification of uh, basically the model of free eight, um, Freemasonry and where that roots from. So I'm going to show anybody looking for answers in to understand the uh, prophecy in Revelation and in the Holy Scriptures which the Lord's revealed. I'm going to be just sharing the basic mechanisms, the basic model and the basic root and heart and practice behind these fronts, these phrases, Illuminati, Freemasonry, the Catholic Church, the Church of this, the Church of that, and all these religious systems, how they all correlate together and how they're all yoked to the same thing. So I'm going to be looking at all the key models and uh, exposing them and to anybody who's not a believer who's, who, who's not a believer in God who's lost in the world who's looking for hope who's looking for understanding um, you will see if you if you listen on and, and examine these things and I invite you to examine and to sh uh, um, sharing what the Lord has revealed through his holy scriptures through his his heart, mind, his spirit, his Holy Spirit, and through his Son, through the Lord Jesus Christ, through the living God, 
through the Son of God sent from the Father and he's left us a faithful record, a written word. He's the living word, he's left us the written word. And to understand the written word, you need to believe and receive the living word. And to receive the living word, you need to believe and trust in him over yourself and over the solutions offered by man, by the world, by nature. It's fallen and turned from God, so it goes its own way and it can't fix its own corruption. So Christ is the remedy and you have to accept his righteousness, his holiness, and he is the, the sovereign head of uh, all righteousness. He's the son of God. He's on the right hand of God. He's the executive for God the Father, for the eternal God and creator. And through his son, he created the world and we're living in our life is a probation and I'm going to read some scriptures so if you're looking for understanding if you're not a believer you're lost you're lost in your ignorance you're lost in your blindness your blindness is simply caused by ignorance because of sin and because of sin we're all born in darkness we can't see and it's through the light that's been revealed we can see, we can begin to see in the dark, we see darkly with the light that's, that has been established and knows all things and has revealed all things from the beginning. So if you're looking for understanding of the Luminati and Freemasonry, I'm going to basically expose it all simply so you can go and research and establish and see it active for yourself and join all the dots. But I'd just like to read you a warning and uh, I'm going to be sharing what Christianity is and what Christianity is not. What the faithful word in the uh, Holy Scriptures is and what the, what the light's revealed, what the truth is, what Jesus Christ has revealed in his word and by his prophets and by, by himself, by his life, giving up his life and um, have being a sacrifice for sin, having this precious holy blood spilt, that the, the, the living creator died, who was pure and innocent, and he died for sin, and he died to put away sin, and he's the remedy for all the world's ills and problems, because he's rejected, we have the world we live in today. And if you're born into that world, you're born into sin and you can't see that. You don't know any different, you're lost in sin. So I'm going to read some scriptures and invite you to examine these things. And to be um, sincere with your criticism, not to dismiss out of hand, but to, to uh, apply some common sense and reasoning and to evaluate all the evidence. Because where there's truth, there is plenty of tares that are planted. That's the nature of the enemy. And the enemy is against all truth, all societies, all families, all individuals, rights and freedoms, and it will corrupt that which is true. So I invite you to examine all the evidence for yourself. and Because uh, that's what uh, the word teaches uh, believers to be Bereans, to which were a people who searched the scriptures. They, they trusted in the word, in the, the established true word, which was faithful, and they measured all things by it. And a believer is simply somebody who trusts in God. They've put God first above all things. And they've believed in all their heart, and they've believed in faith, like Abraham believed faithfully. And it was accounted unto him for righteousness and through uh, Abraham and through Jesus Christ and the covenant that God made to uh, Abraham and the everlasting the covenant of Jesus Christ's sacrifice to fulfill the covenant to, to fulfill his faithful side of the bargain to put an end to law to put an end to sin to put an end to death and established his kingdom within people's hearts and that's received by coming to the end of your own sinfulness and your own ideas and the world's ideas of putting its kingdom on the table and 
trying to put all the world's injustices right, which can never be put right because once something, once a crime has been committed, a murder, you can't bring that person back to life. You can punish the the guilty party, but that doesn't that that's not that's not complete justice. That's um, an eye for an eye. That's not a that's not perfect. Christ is perfect. He rose from the dead. He rose from the grave, and anyone who believes in him has overcome sin, has got the victory over sin through his righteousness, and has got the victory over death through his resurrection, because they've believed and received the faithful promise. So if you're lost, I'm going to read you some scriptures, because the, the Lord's revealed, and he's revealed it from the beginning of time, that the whole world is um, lost, and it goes its own way and it thinks it's righteous it thinks it's right and it can't see it it need to be it needed to be told it was sinful it need to be told that it was created and the only one who cared for the world was the creator of the world and he died to save the world and he's left a faithful word a faithful record of all truth and it's been revealed in the scriptures and he's left the word, uh, a record for the whole world to repent. To repent means to believe and come to an end of sin, to give up that sin. But you can't give up that sin because you're sinful. So you have to come to an end of sin and believe in he who has sin for you, sin on your behalf, and receive that sin offering on your behalf. And that would justify you of your sinfulness through his sinlessness and you would have that adopted into that sinlessness by his righteousness and you will be forgiven because of what he done for you not what you could do for yourself and that he is mercifully outstretched for everybody all men he died to save all men but because he's been rejected, the whole world is eternally under eternal judgment and condemnation. And this is a serious warning, because if you reject Christ, you're going to be under the power of the world systems, the world's kingdoms. And the world's kingdoms don't care about you. They don't care about innocence. They don't care about families. They're a family unto themselves of wickedness, of conglomerate evil, corporate greed and lust, and they drive and yoke the whole world. You reject Christ, that's what that's what's the kingdom that's going to come. And that kingdom is going to come because Christ has revealed it. And if you die in any time in history without out receiving and and God revealing himself in your heart and the only way he can reveal himself is through his son and you have to accept his son and he will reveal his love by his son, by his son's grace, by the power of his death, burial and resurrection. You will receive a faithful witness by the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is a faithful witness of the Father and the Son and the Son came in the flesh the fullness of the Godhead bodily, the God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Ghost, but the full authority and power of the Godhead, Christ came and died for all men. And he, by rejecting him, he's revealed in uh, John 3 that he, he's the only righteous one, he's the only, only Son, he's the only living God, he's the only Creator come from the Father, in the Father in the beginning and in, on the right hand of the Father at this time and he's going to come back and remove all the faithful and if, you're, if you've are if rejected him you're under condemnation and you will go into the judgement and he's outstretched and today is the day of salvation today is a, a probation for your salvation which he died freely to give you and but it needs to be accepted and received his his power his probation his salvation his redemption needs to be appropriated and to appropriate that attention you need to come to the end of yourself 
Trust in God above all, trust in his Son above all things. Believe in him with your heart and call upon his name. And when you do that faithfully, he's faithful to answer and you'll be saved. I'm going to read down some scriptures. Um, now, if you reject him, you're going to be subject to the Antichrist and the Antichrist system that already that's already working in in the fabric of the world. It's it's in operation now. It's called it's a motive of lust, of power, of money, of uh, man's ideals, man's philosophies, um, uh, having a life of their own and cultivating. The, the people underneath the dominant power and it raises up the world in its image it has a it plants seeds and and those seeds grow within people's behavior and that behavior has a nature of its own and it crafts nature and this is the uh, nature of the devil and he's taught men how to craft human nature look at advertising look at spin doctors in the uh, politicians have look at media coverage look at the two-facedness of uh, the hypocrisy of the royal wedding and the church of england and the the uh, so-called leaders of our world which we should pray for because you know the world will collapse the world there's um the world's compromised and our our laws are under attack our just laws are uh, compromised and infiltrated by evil people to get their own philosophies and this all roots from Satan and the biggest mother of of this operation the mother of harlots is the Catholic Church and and it's the same nature permeating through all the all all that's against the good good conscientious conservatism right living family values lawfulness and it puts on the face of goodness to destroy it and to give government a bad name to give to corrupt royal houses and lead them into compromise and give them a bad name so then the world has hasn't got a leg to stand on it it becomes powerless because it's given over the law it's given over the right way it's given over and God has given it over to itself and it goes about in its corruption and becomes more corrupted and the vilest men exalt themselves in these chief seats and this is done through Freemasonry and God has warned, he's warned in the scriptures I'm going to read uh, Revelation so Ezekiel uh, Kyle was, was revealing this burden of all the prophets revealed this burden of what what would be felt before the seed of Israel for rejecting the living God, the living waters and it's this um, dying in their corruption and going to hell um, but also his faithfulness in restoring Israel he's already restored Israel through the Messiah but they need to be grafted in through faith, through believing and there's no other way and for rejecting him the, the kingdom of the Antichrist is going to be established and it's going to be centred as it's been revealed in the scriptures in Revelation it's going to be centred around Israel the nation of Israel, the land of Israel, Jerusalem and the seed and the faithful seed are going to get all caught up in that all caught up in the middle and uh, uh, rescued through that and delivered but they can be delivered today, they can be saved today because God is outstretched and consistent and this can be consistently been outstretched to them. Um, but this is the consequence of rejecting him and, it, and this is the, the very last chapter of his revelation, the book of Revelation, the revelation he gave to John for an angel. And uh, the deliverance is in his, his heart, in his kingdom. And the church, those that believe in Jesus Christ, are delivered from this judgment. They've delivered from hell and death. And that's what's coming on the earth, the final judgment. And it's revealing the hell and death unfolding in, in a natural, physical climax, apocalyptic ending of man's judgment. And then Christ is going to come back with the faithful and, rest and deliver the 
the branch plucked out the fire which will be the faithful seed of Israel and this prophecy this is the last chapter uh, prophecy given to John he said unto me these sayings are faithful and true and the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly come be done behold I come quickly blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book and I John saw these things and heard them and when I heard and seen I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and he that is which is filthy, let him be filthy still, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according to his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning, beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs, sorcerers, whoremongers, murderers, idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. And the spirit of the bride saith, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is the first come, and to whosoever will let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take his, his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things, so if surely I come quickly, Amen, even so, come Lord Jesus, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, Amen. So the final chapter of the prophecy is the prophecy of uh, the Alpha and Omega, the, the Word of God, the heart, mind and will of God, is he's delivered the church and, and to escape and to enter into his kingdom you just have to believe and um, but all those outside are, are condemned are whoremongers are liars and he's talking about coming back after the judgment after Jacob's trouble and restoring his kingdom to the earth and those who um, escape that gulf are either those who have already escaped it today um, in by appropriating his attainment through faith and uh, those who are delivered out of the uh, the great tribulation those who reject the antichrist system and lose their heads and those seed in israel who become separate and separate themselves and turn to look for Jesus Christ because they see the Antichrist so they know that uh, where they are in prophecy and then they will be uh, restored back to the Messiah and they will know that they're going to be delivered because they've got the Old Testament they've got the Old Testament prophecies that he's going to once they reveal that the Antichrist is a betrayer and the deceiver and he sets up the abomination in the temple that they that they are restoring and the deceiver and those that are deceived have a part in the building of that temple and are getting their wish and using the Jews other intention and culturing it and hijacking it to get their intention realized and get their king on the throne get their false prince on the throne and he's going to deceive israel and when they realize that the, when the faithful realize that he sets up the abomination that brings desolation then they will know that they've got to run and get out of there and run to their their savior jesus christ who's going to come and appear on the mount of olives deliver israel 
and destroy the Antichrist, destroy all this false system with it, with his power, with his word. And he's going to put an end to it, and he's already done that on the cross, and that's the end. That's the prophecy realised. Um, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers. This is chapter twenty-one, verse eight. And murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars have their part in the lake of fire which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death. So if you're you're not a believer, I would you know and you you see find out that all this Freemasonry and all this practice, you can see it right before your eyes developing and becoming more prevalent in today's society and if you're fearful of it you're compromised and you will go into the lake of fire because you're a liar and you can't be saved from your lies and your sin unless you're forgiven by somebody who never lied who never sinned to give you a clean eternal life and you want to fear God, not to fear evil and then compromise with it to get on in life, to get an easy life because you'll compromise whether you're ignorant or not you will go to hell, you will go to the lake of fire which is good judgment, which is eternal because God has created man to be etern to eternally exist he's, he's given it life life is meant to have no end that's why sin is death. Sin corrupts, it's corroded, it's rotten. Sin is cancer. Sin corrupts all DNA, you can't splice it out. It's sinful to think that because it denies God, it denies the truth, it denies the Creator, it denies all common sense. And God's revealed this in, in His Word. So if you're not a believer you, and, you, and you fear, don't fear fear the world, you should fear the world because it is established in wickedness, it's disgusting and it, it's against everybody's, it's against everything that's good and it appears in the face of good, it uses the name of good and that which has been established by good to pull off its evil stunts and its evil agenda and this comes from the heart and root of Satan and the mystery practice of Freemasonry which is the mystery Babylon, the mystery religions, and this all all this model comes from Rome, which is behind the Roman Catholic Church. And I'm, uh, I will show you the models. I want to read some more scriptures, um, just to show uh, the Lord's righteousness in the Old Testament, and that He's the only just, the just perfect person, the only just measure, he's the only righteous um, foundation to be established on and, you, and only on that established foundation you, can you have a just heart, mind and outlook because if all the world is unjust and uh, God has revealed this through all the prophets, through his son Jesus Christ which is written by of him and by him and for him and uh, it testifies of the glory and love of God um, and I'm going to read Proverbs uh, 16 one verse <clears throat> Verse 11, uh, just weight and balance are the Lord's, all the weights of the bag are his work. So all creation are the weights of his bag. Um, all, all his just measures are the work of his hands, all the, all the, all the weights of the bag, bag are his work. So all creation is his work. He's the only just measure, he's a just balance. All men are unjust. All men's philosophies are unjust. The only just um, philosophies in history were taught to the Jews, were taught to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. But then they corrupted them, the fall of Solomon and the practice of mystery religions, corrupted the 
the law, corrupted the right way and perverted it. And it's practiced by um, the false Christian church. It's stolen the principle principles and the word of God and it throws out the truth and uses the good in it, the good face and it dresses up in it and appears, appears in its costume as though it's righteous and goes about in its name claiming authority to do the will of God but it's, it's doing its, it's serving its own will uh, let me read uh, So, so by the light, by the gospel of Jesus Christ, the word, the light revealed, and the way revealed, he's revealed that in his believers. So the church is separate from the world. What, what the world see is as Christianity, or false Christianity, is being infiltrated by evil men, to be the face of Christianity, to corrupt Christianity for their own religion, their own mystery religious practice. And they've united and yoked all religions under one yoke to compromise them, to de destroy its reputa reputation and to take away its authority to act and speak against that which is evil. And it's a false Christianity and it's yoked to this um, mystery religious practice. Uh, Second Corinthians, this is um, the heart, mind and will of the Lord through the Apostle Paul to the church and to believers who've received Jesus Christ. We then as workers together with him beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain for he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, in the day of salvation have I succoured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time, behold, now is the day of salvation, giving no offence to anything that the ministry be not blamed, but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God, in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in turmoils, in labours, in watchings, in fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love and faith, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armour of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honour and dishonour, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying, and behold, we live as chastened and not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. O ye Corinthians, our mouth is opened unto you, our heart is enlarged, ye are straightened in us. You are not straightened in us, but ye are straightened in your own bowels. Now for recompensing the same I speak as unto my children, be ye also enlarged. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? And what concord have Christ with Belial? Or what part have he that believe with an infidel? And what agreement have the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God, as God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing. That's that. And I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, you a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord. So the Christian body, the believers in Christ, um, Paul the early apostle was sacrificed his life, he come out of the world, he put up all, of, all the models of chief seats and power and designs and wishes of man. He was zealous for his religious traditional beliefs being a Jew. And he put all that off, he put all the world off for Christ. He suffered, he, he humbled himself for Christ. And he rejoiced in that which he'd received to share it. He was separate from the world. He didn't sit with the councils. He didn't sit with religions. He didn't sit in governments. He was separate. There's no 
Christianity and state. It was uh, the kingdom of heaven received in a believer's heart, and that person was the temple, the church. The church was a living body of believers, and uh, they are separate from religion. They are separate from orders of men, and this is what we're looking at here, orders of men. And this comes from the counterfeit, which is Satan. Um, so... <clears throat> now the the hierarchy of Lucifer is fallen from heaven he's fallen from grace so he's reta he's called an angel of light uh, he was a son of the morning one of the sons of the morning that was a created uh, angelic host and because he's fallen from grace He's unfounded now, and what we're looking at is the heart and motive and design behind all these secret societies. This black bar represents the evil motive behind Roman Catholicism. Roman Catholicism is just a structural model, a religious order, a government, a military government, a nation's government, of all, all the, um, if you see these two keys, the Pope believes he, he, he is God on earth. If you read all the um, quotes of the Pope and the, the doctrine of what the Pope actually believes, what the Catholics believe about the Pope, that he is instead of Christ. And that he's got Christ's authority, he's got Christ's keys. That's power over all the world, all the kingdoms of the world, and power over all the religions and he's the head and that's what the Pope, Pope believes and that comes from Satan and the Pope is in agreement with all religions in the world he doesn't oppose them, he's two-faced he plays to whatever advantage he, and appears in the face of Christianity this model is from Satan now the Pope is not he's a deceiver and behind the Catholic Church is a body, a group of evil and it's um, infiltrated and plant, Satan plants seeds and from the ground it raises up ideas so Catholic, the Catholic Church from the hearts of men from the, the ancient uh, powers of Europe and the world and the Mediterranean wanted to uh, keep their power when it collapsed, when their king, the pagan uh, idol worship come to a crash uh, at the time of, after Christianity and, and Christianity took ground and it took and it threatened all the world's kingdoms so Rome had to reinvent itself and it come up with the Catholic Church so from the ground it, it hijacked true Bible believing Christians into this system and it corrupted it and then it started to establish its order in the in in the disguise of what the gospel was preached from the beginning and that that caused the division so the church remained in the wilderness through history and the Catholic Church and state took dominance because they were the power and the evil behind the building and structure of Roman Catholicism. So this little, this tri top triangle represents the hierarchy. The black side, the black face, is the evil powers behind the church. So if you if you, if you see, think of a scientist and they've got a sterile incubation chamber and they're working and they want a sterile atmosphere and they have to put their hands through the gloves to, so they can't contaminate the atmosphere. So the ha their hands, their flesh is never known by the atmosphere within inside the chamber because they wear rubber gloves. They're putting some rubber gloves in to demonstrate. 
say the powers behind the Catholic Church place on rubber gloves and they work through the Catholic Church. Now it's the evil hand that works through behind the scenes and that evil power comes from the people who openly worship Lucifer. They believe he's the light, he's God. These people divine, they're sorcerers, they're uh, paedophiles, sodomites. They practice the mystery religion from the uh, cabal, from all these mystery, paganistic, apostate um, beliefs from Israel all merged into this pot and it's from Satan's heart. And they all believe different things, but they're all united in this evil. And the core evil and power is behind the Catholic Church. It's like a, um, they put their hands and operate within it. And Satan plants the seeds on the ground and people are drawn into it and they give it legs. And this has established the Roman Catholic mother of harlots the beast system and, and it's got two arms you see it's got its uh, temporal arm which is to do with governments power because the Roman Catholic Church is in a, a nation of itself Vatican City so the Pope is the king of his nation he's supreme leader of Vatican City so he's the head the temporal head and he's the spiritual head of the church so the church is a military body an establishment of economy, education, commerce, banking, war, vice, and then it's got its religious face, which is the what the public sees. And the dark arm is the infiltration or the or what's the evil that established the Catholic Church behind the false face of it, behind the the light face of it, the the bright holiness appearance of it, it appears in its own righteousness but it's evil in its own self-righteousness and this is the model of the Catholic Church, the evil beliefs behind the Catholic Church so it's exactly the same model and it's a counterfeit kingdom and it's exactly the same model as the Illuminati and Freemasonry and all the mystery schools, all the um, all, all the occults, all the Luciferian occults, all the mystery religious New Age uh, occults uh, and belief systems. It's uh, all the secret orders like the Skull and Bones and the Knights Templar and the Knights of Malta and the Knights of Saint Ordered. All of those secret societies are all the same model uh, Hitler's Third Reich was based on the same model that model is infiltrated through Freemasonry now the people who the capstone at the top are like again uh, are like that um, where's my pointer so this evil motive and core evil behind it are, are the same evil that's established and set up Freemasonry. So they're not actually Freemasons, but they might enter in as Freemasons as they, they uh, the same evil enters in and operates through Roman Catholicism in its false face. It also works through Freemasonry, and any people that hold it up in the in the common public and do all the charity work defend all the evil that goes on behind it because the core evil is the evil that established it to have this false dialect cause this indifference because it's secret and all the naive fooled Freemasons don't see its evil don't see its core motive and it's a full operation because it's established by this hierarchy a uh, lying system corrupt luciferian pagan babylonian mystery philosophy and all those philosophies have infiltrated education government politics religion commerce and it dominates 
and it's the same model as the Roman Catholic Church the Jesuits the third Hitler's Third Reich was raised up by the Jesuits it's the Catholics temporal power Hitler spiritual power the Pope this is the seat of the Antichrist and that's the and that's Satan it's the same author the same model the same philosophy the, the false word the false light the false philosophies the mysteries the Gnosticism all the are in vain imaginings of world of the world all tie into the same hierarchy one king at the cast top of the castle and all the pyramid structure that's anti-crisis it's anti-law all these people operate law in the name of the law unlawfully because they're in secret and they're compromised by this yoke of mystery religion and 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 because of the public ignorance and the nature of the human race they are yoked to this nature and this nature governs both sides of the human two-facedness and it controls the media education and it nurtures that body that human lump up into its own image and that image is and the core driving motive of that image is luciferian worship because it's from satan he's a principality of this earth and the whole world's under judgment and this is how the Lord is going to allow the world to be judged through this Freemasonic craft, through this uh, popery, through this Jesuit conglomerate, what's behind it, the conglomerate of evil to dominate, to bring in their one world system, their beast system, their antichrist lawless system, to corrupt our laws, to chop up our heritage and it's all core motive is from the the, the uh, counter-reformation by the catholic church because protestant protestantism gave nations their independence their freedoms their just laws but um, all the jesuits all the freemasons have infiltrated those seats as masons as secret society members and corrupted it on purpose to give religion a bad name, to give politics a bad name, to disrupt our morals and introduce their religion. Anything goes, do as thou wilt, serve thyself, and they hold up the carrot and they control all the world's dominant media through this ambiguous evil and mystery yoke, like a magnet has power on people, on the cults. On, on the nation's government it has a it, it's in opposition continually against all good it's a powerhouse established and set up and God has judged it and revealed it and that's what I'm trying to reveal to anybody looking and seeking interest that's why in prophecy the Lord revealed the the, the mystery Babylon and called it the mother of harlots riding on the beast thinking that she, you know she's untouchable this is the catholic hierarchy this is the evil behind the mother of harlots who is the mother of harlots and through religious circles they've um, the world council of churches and the ecumenical movement through freemasonry to destroy protest um, or biblical Christianity and, and the principles, the good principles established from for law and order, which come from the law given to Abraham, the lawful, the establishing by lawful witnesses. We have the word of God. It's a lawful established witnesses. It was established lawfully and faithfully, and from the law and Christianity, we have our nation's independent how they can um, in their own culture in their own segregation and national independence they can govern themselves by a just holy law from god even even if those people in that nation aren't believers they got a just law to go by if the law is just and it's operated justly by just people and it's to judge and keep in line those which were lawbreakers 
but those lawbreakers are taking up the seed to use the good that's established and it, it causes division in the world it causes apathy it causes the hypocrisy of it, the hypocrisy of it in the face of christianity in the in the dress of christianity is killed the human spirit it's killed people's trust and faith in mankind because mankind are sinful they are the seed of sin they are the seed of the devil and the whole world is lost and its judgment the consequence of rejecting jesus christ is being left to these systems and the mother of that the mother of freemasonry the mother of all these christian religions the church of england the government of england the government of america islam is all all created by this hierarchy this system islam's created by the philosophies and are set up to grow on the ground so satan's planted the seed in the seed of uh, the arabs and and raised up this idea this philosophy which was based on this model and planted it in the arab nations and it's taken root and grown and they control it because they they established it and it grew and they raised up their false prophet to be the bogeyman to be against the antithesis the 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 bad that they do in the face of good to corrupt law to corrupt conservatism to corrupt justice to corrupt freedoms to corrupt truth to corrupt the way and to be anti-christ and it's undermined through our education system through the media it's given itself life it's chopped up the generational uh, consistency and continuity of those lessons that that um, protestantism established through christian living through moral living through sober living through just living through holy their faith in holiness other than their own sinful nature and establish those just laws this is what roman catholicism is against from the beginning because it's a, of its heretical belief so it's got it owns temporal power in the world and spiritual power and if you don't believe that you need to research what they write of themselves what all the popes have said through history and professed what they write about in secret and defend with their other face it's an evil a punch and duty show and and they set up freemasonry they're not freemasons they just use freemasonry it's a ve another vehicle same with the illuminati same with all the ogo it's all they're the they're the scientist that puts his hands in the rubber gloves and they operate through these models but they're not part of it you know and it raises up believers in those models to be the to hide that they can hide and operate behind because they're the hide they're the caps false capstone they're the false princes on the throne and people who believe it give it loyalty and hold it up this is who the illuminati and this is who freemasons believe they are but then they're, they're not the capstone they just believe they are and then the and then the true capstones the roman catholic church but they're not the true capstone. They've been deceived by the deceiver, the father of all lies, Satan. And this permeates throughout our world today. And if you can't see that, you are extremely blind. And you, all it, all it would take is just to examine the history of Freemasonry, the roots of Freemasonry, the roots of uh, the mystery. Uh, Babylonian religions, the uh, idolatry worship of Israel, the idolatry worship of the uh, Assyrians, the Egyptians, and then it corrupted Israel because God was teaching them the right way, but they kept turning back to this way, the secret mystery schools, and they rate, they keep all the all the hierarchy, keep back all the truth and the knowledge. And then they break it up into layers. This is what Satan's taught them to do. Hides the truth behind his back. That he's a fallen angel. 
and he wants to destroy mankind. So naturally, those who follow Satan hide the truth behind their backs. They've been lied to, so so they believe that they're enlightened, and they've received enlightenment through the knowledge, the secret mystery knowledge, through satanic worship, through whatever model and system or order they practice. It's all the same rules. It all comes from Lucifer. It all comes from the Catholic Church model. It all comes from all the mystery religions all come from this model this two-faced model because it's man's fallen nature trying to establish its own righteousness its own kingdom and satan is a deceiving these people and to raise the antichrist and god's allowed it because mankind's turned away from god and and given power to this evil force satan and those who worship satan take up the power, take up the seats and they've done that through Freemasonry so here we, you know, we've got um, the devil's nature fallen from grace so he's light but he's dark he's, he's, he's founded on his true heart's dark but he's got a face of light but his foundation's fallen from God so he's like bottomless, he's got no light, he's got no love. So he has to appear as light. He teaches that to man, it's in man. Man tries to do good, but it's, it's got um, corrupt nature and it lies, it sins. So when it sins, it has to hide its sin because it can't rub it out. So it appears on it, it tries to do good, it follows good and right if it chooses to, so it's got a, it's got good in it, but it's corrupted by its evil heart and nature. Therefore, the practices and the fruits, the outcome, and all the establishment and hierarchies are of that same fallen nature. Like all historical kingdoms rise and fall, because they go from the same flawed model of, of philosophy, because they've rejected the way, the word of God. They've rejected the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the whole world, even religion, is all yoked to this, this um, evil dominant force. And that's what Christ has revealed. And that's why he died. That's why he died on the cross, to deliver people and save them. So in, in the world, there's only really three camps of people. Um, So if you think of, um, see this is what the world doesn't see because it's in ignorance so it can't see, it can't see the core practice of uh, sodomite paganistic dominance in the core powers and prince, principalities and prince family, the, you know the rich bloodlines of the world, can't see that they're genetically corrupted family lines of perverse evil they've been practicing this generationally and they're the ones who set they've their generations that bloodline has set up the roman catholic church because they were the powers their ancestors were the powers behind rome and their ancestors the same nature behind those of babylon those of egypt those of assyria and it's a conglomerate of evil, the core pinnacle of the most powerful, richest. It's not the people you see on public, on the telly. This is what's hidden. This is what's behind and what, what, what motives and what representatives appear, appears in the Catholic Church, appears on telly, on the Prime Minister's seat, appears on the here, there and everywhere, appears in... In, 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 as the head of education or the head of a, a scientific opinion or this or that the, it's the false evil um, motive behind the world and these are Luciferian and these families openly Satan appears now he may, may appear to one group of body as um, 
prince of light and then he might appear to another person as a woman he will appear to whatever is in that person's vain fallen nature to deceive them so if they're uh, Catholics he, w he could appear as Mary if they were Christians uh, not not saved Christians but Christians believing in a false gospel he could uh, appear as Jesus or an angel to deceive them if they're Satanists, witches, he could appear as an angelic being. He could appear as an alien. He can appear as a um, an angel of light to a false prophet to give it credence. But God's ended the prophets and revealed the truth through his son, through his light, through his word. So it's revealed all this nature. And this nature is... Um, on the far side of the track on the other extreme of the track it's those who have come to realize they're sinners because the middle of the track is the lost ignorant world who cannot see that cannot see the world is predominantly cabal cabalist dominated by masons occult secret societies all driven by this corn motive of evil how they've infiltrated and raised up people to be evil who aren't in the core but they're raised up by the core and they and they and they show and the core appears as a good face and, it, and and could be a prime minister could be the head of a religious order and it, it raises up people that are in, that do the right thing in the world choose right do things by the book then it raises up in its other branch people who are compromised and lie and will do anything in its in its um, honour to be faithful to its master because it's like its master it lies so it appears on both sides of the face and raises up and yokes the world in its image and the world doesn't see that it sees this blinkered at the this practice because it's rejected Christ has become blinkered in its right eye in its eye, moral eye in its spiritual eye to see right and wrong and it doesn't see its own wrong it only sees its own righteousness and this is the general world this is all mankind and mankind are either converted into this school of thought all these different avenues and c compromise and corrupted and they pra their 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 motive in life is vain is going for the pride of life the carrot and it's all dominated by this core evil through these establishments and on the far side is those who've been separate and they've been drawn to the cross they've been drawn to salvation they've called upon Christ and his righteousness and they've been saved in their sinfulness and they've put on Christ's righteousness and they've had his righteousness imputed to them these people try and warn the lost world of these people and expose them and that's what I'm doing I'm uh, defending the faith that was preached warning the world because it's going to the lake of fire and that's a serious thing that's a horrible thing nobody no Christian uh, Jesus doesn't want anyone to go there Christians don't want anyone to go there that's why they're against homophobia that's what uh, homosexuality that's why they're against Islam that's why they're against abortion that's why they're against sin that's why they're against corruption that's why they're against lies that's why they're against immigration that's why they're against re uh, re false religion and religion falsely in the name using the name of Christ and being hypocrites and associated and all yoked to these people like the Queen, like the Church of England, like the government because they're lost and they are turned away that God has given over them to, given them up over to themselves so they practice their own religion in the name of Christ or in the name of the, who they believe their God is and, and Christ has revealed the truth by his son, by his word already and that's what I'm inviting the, the lost world to, to examine and receive 
and this will give you a clear understanding of the Illuminati, the Freemasonry and how that permeates through corporate business models, through um, Hollywood and that's all homosexual dominated, all this voice, oh you're homophobic if you speak against it, it's because it's to give it dominance, to give it credibility and legitimacy, to give these sodomites, paganist sodomite practices hiding behind the power of the world and raising up the world to be the, like that and preying on the corrupt inheritance of sinful homosexuals who are uh, driven by that voice because it's the core voice is their sodomites and they practice secretly and they want the world to accept the practice and they want uh, paedophilia to be accepted and pagan mystery religion to be accepted and that's what the antichrist is going to come and he's going to unite all these ambiguous Babylonian mystery practices and any ignorance in the world who goes along with it and doesn't speak out against it because if you're ignorant you don't say nothing you're just as guilty you're on the bus running the bus that's running people over and trampling on squashing and pushing in the into the pushing their squashing their blood into the dirt ruining lives on a daily basis because they're unjust the world has all gone after itself and the the vilest men are exalted and they're getting dominant more dominant and the world's going to go into judgment and Christ has warned and if you understand that simple truth you'll understand Freemasonry you'll understand the Illuminati and how to uh, piece it all together in prophecy and uh, as you study the prophecies of the Old Testament and, and, and the book of Revelation and if you're um, a Christian and you're or, uh, believe you're a Christian and you're, go, you're yoked to one of these false ecumenical churches one of these uh, uh, religious traditional run churches you're yoked to this evil and this practice and they're not speaking out you got the um, Church of England, who's got the, you know, just been exposed of being corrupted into paedophilia because they were corrupted by free Jesuit Freemasons to get the Protestants um, yoked and compromised into vice, into their vice rings, and then, then the Church of England, then Protestants uh, politically couldn't have a voice. It wouldn't speak out against all the other practice. It was compromise in the world to take part in and this is through these uh, secret societies freemasonry it's used freemasonry to get into uh, to destroy um, protestant uh, protestant protestant oh, I can't say it <laughs> protestantism in um, our culture in, in our law and destroy it and, and remove it from education and brainwash people with liberalism and uh, communism and all these uh, Jesuit inspired Catholic inspired Freemasonic mystery practices to um, compromise people and divide and the, uh, they used uh, the Catholics have got Freemasonry branch and they they corrupt the Catholics and then they uh, get the um, Anglican Church and the Protestant Church and they get them into Freemasonry and it's Antichrist so it compromises them and this is the Catholic the evil behind Roman Catholicism this is what uh, King James and Oliver Cromwell dealt with and they had to compromise they had to um, they were forced into war, they were forced to act righteous, you know, righteously and, uh, but as Christians, as Bible believing Christians uh, we, you know, we're not we're not warring, we're to preach the gospel and to stay separate from the world so the, you know, the, the good people of that time and the God fearing and the conscientious you know, had to fight this evil force out of the country and because there was no 
lawful head sitting on the throne in a pa to do it so a christian man rose into parliament done the job handed over that victory to the what to back to parliament kicked out the catholic kings and their dominance and their dictating what christianity is and what what uh, how they should rule people by whatever they say goes while they're living the life of um exuberance and perversions and corrupt mystery astrology and, and you know titillating all their vain desires and uh ruling over people unfairly with like strict Christ using the church to dictate to people how to live well christ set the whole world free from that and that's what uh, the, uh, the Catholic Church has tried to undermine through this craft to get it out of our nation, to get it out of our schools. Now, Christianity, church and state doesn't mix, but the principles are from God. You know, God has given um, each nation the law, each nation the government to judge that which is unlawful, even though those people are unlawful in it, because... Uh, the world is evil and it needs correct it needs keeping in check and it will it's it's self checkmates it itself in a compromise and god has established it like that that's why our government needs prayers that's why to keep peace so it doesn't collapse and this evil doesn't dominate but this is too late the horse has bolted and, and we're not going to have another oliver cromwell you know the time's passed we're in a, the, the, the ripeness of apostasy, the world's fallen away over to this mystery religion and yoked itself and yoked the whole world. And that's, what, and that's what Freemasonry is a vehicle for that. And that was from the model of the Roman Catholic Jesuitism Freemasonry and their philosophy of a kingdom, their model of government working through the United Nations, working through the Bilderbergs, working through the bankers, working through the Mafia, working through all the nations to corrupt them into their dominance. That's why people kiss the Pope, kiss his ring, because they're fearful of his power and his dominance, his military arm that you don't see. And it speaks out of both sides of its mouth, like the, you know, and, and then anyone who's yoked to it has to you see by their fruits, by their hypocrisy, the Church of England, they don't speak out against homosexuality because they are homosexuals. They don't speak out against paedophilia because they're all in thick with them. They don't speak out against false doctrine because they're all, they're all teaching and heretics. So it's all corrupted and, and uh, yoked to this vice of uh, Illuminism. Jesuitism, popery, and it's why that we had um, Guy Fawkes Night, you know, Bonfire Night, to remember that. And they've infiltrated education, put their agents and written our education system, affected our medical bodies, affected our government political bodies, got it, set up charities, set up all these false other bodies to unite them in their dominance by their false model of a kingdom to come what they've planned what would these europeans plan for the world this metropolitan babylonian world system of governance with one head at the top where there there's only one true living head and that's jesus christ so if you want to be free of that you receive Jesus Christ, he has set you free and Christ put all enemies under his feet and he said to uh, King David uh, my Lord said to my Lord sit down here on my right hand while I may call my enemies thy footstool and King David was um, called my Lord, he was a king in Christ's stead for Israel to righteously govern his nation and through his vic Christ's victory, the Lord, on the cross, he's put all enemies under his feet. And he says to his 
his believers because all believers were once against God they're corrupt in their nature and they've been brought to the cross they've been brought to salvation through repentance through the grace of Christ they've received repentance and they've appropriated his atonement and believed so even believers have been the enemies of God once and they've been put under his feet and redeemed and established and put on his rock and adopted as sons and you can escape the judgment, you can escape eternal judgment and the judgments of the world to come and uh, this will give you a clear reference to where to go and investigate if you don't if your eyes are closed and you don't believe it you don't believe that this practice is dominant through our world and you can't see it I'd invite you to go and examine the areas I've mentioned and look at all the liberalism look at all the all the politics the left and right dialect all the lies played it's all the same sales insurance bodies corporate media entertainment media it's all this dialect politics it's all this left right dialect and there's no opposition to it's evil it's corruptness it plays the good face but it's all united in the same evil like all the world leaders are all united in the same compromise and they want to compromise the world and it's going to lead it into judgment and I'm going to close there just to invite you to look at that um, look at all the evidence look at all the the models and look at the fruit and look at how that affects people and how that blinkers people in their eye and they can't see it and this is why Israel rejected Christ because their genetic inheritance of sin if you don't think you're a sinner you don't think your DNA is um, look at science uh, genetic um, even atmospheres we grow environments we grow up in if you grew up in the war and experienced the trauma and the turmoil that's recorded in your genetic code and passed on to your children and that will affect your children same if you practice homosexuality war, lies, spilling of blood making money out of people unjustly and if the world is predominantly like that their children are predominantly like that and if the world's homosexual and, it, and it's okay to be homosexual it's okay to choose whatever gender uh, uh, gender the child wants to be and it throws out all right all common sense and reason and the true natural model of life mother and father produce mother and father and it's corrupting that because it wants to be the false model the false head the false king the false priest and it's offering you this uh, metropolitan ideal system that's all uniting peace and that rings true for all this uh, John Lennon and uh, Bob Marley let's all unite together one love and like all the churches let's all hold hands with all the religions and tolerate one another well the truth is opposed to that which is evil and so all this compromise voice is it's been separate all into one lump and the Lord's called out all the wheat and they're separate and they're nothing to do with organised religion and, all, and, and the evil people behind uh, try and appear as um, believers in Christ and try to corrupt evangelism try to corrupt the gospel and it's going to get to a point where people are going to just not going to give over and they're not going to ever believe the gospel it's going to be too late and the door's going to be closed judgment's going to be sealed and that time's going to arrive and it's at the door, it's approaching and I'm blowing the trumpet crying out loud to anybody who's found this video who's uh, been uh, touched, been drawn by what I've said because I, I'm only repeating what I've learned I'm only, I, I was a lost sinful idiot, I'm a sinful man, I still have sin but I've received forgiveness of sins I've received life in Jesus Christ. I simply realised I was a sinner and called out to, to my Saviour. And I called out to the one that was written about, that left a faithful word. And I heard that word through other people who've received that faithful report. 
and I believed that faithful report, I had faith and I believed and I was saved because I received a faithful witness within myself and that faithful witness is in the King James Bible and the enemies against the King James Bible, that's why King James put it through the letterbox so the English speaking people didn't need this hierarchical system or they could they could find Christ, they could receive Christ and be established on his law, on his word. They wouldn't need governors. They wouldn't need religious priests because everyone is a priest in Christ. Everyone has Christ as their head. Every family, every man and wife has Christ as their head. And they're free in their liberty to live in faith and to warn and to establish the law which is love. Love thy neighbour, warn thy neighbour and be thankful to God and to put God first and to put, to, put, to put God first you just have to believe and give up all the other things you put first put God first and then God will teach you what, how to live rightly how to live soberly and temperately patiently and love your neighbour as yourself love your enemy but you can't love the world and fix the world until you're fixed inside and that is it will only come through the living God, through the through the right. He who is right, he who is good, and who he who who is true, from the beginning, he's the same today as he was yesterday, and he's the same forever. And he's outstretched. And today is the day of probation, but tomorrow is judgment. When you die, is judgment. Or when the world reaches that point of Jacob's trouble, is judgment then it's the seals are opened the revelation is on f what Christ has revealed will happen because he was sinless therefore all things that were outside of God all sin will have its own way and it will come to a head and then it will collapse and, and that which is right will be justified because it is justified because it's always eternally justified it's holy and it's created um, it's created this wonderful world and it's created man to know God and that's why Jesus Christ come in the flesh to draw all men unto himself that they may have partake in his eternal life but if you reject that you reject life and you, you go to hell you go to the lake of fire and he died to save you from the lake of fire but broad is the way and many are going to go in that way because they've rejected the simple truth they've rejected the world so they're going to get yoked to the world the whole world is doesn't matter what it believes, it's like nature. It's all yoked together, it's all controlled by a governing head. And that governing head of that nature is Satan. So if you think you're independent, you're not. Unless you're founded on Jesus Christ, you're, you've got no independence, you've got no freedom, you've got no peace, you've got no foundation. You might try and put up an appearance of being good, but your nature will be gathered in with all other nature and when nature dominates through the powers on the earth all nature toes the line all friends betray one another families betray one another because it's compromised and fearful and it's dominated by fear and the governing master of its what it believes in and what it's put its faith in whether that's ignorantly or willingly it gives itself over to that force for that governance and if you're if you're governing authority isn't the truth isn't Jesus Christ you're deceived you've only got part truth and you're yoked to this evil lump and that's 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 controlled by the Satan Lucifer and these people at the core of the world's dominance worship him openly and and you need to understand that if you if you want to look into conspiracies and what's going on in the world well this kingdom is being established this evil kingdom has been set up and it's 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 already in operation. It just hasn't got its um, temporal king yet. The Pope hasn't got his temporal power. He's got his temporal power through other people, through his mediums, but he hasn't got a temporal person on on the seat. And uh, that person is going to come through the uh, Jewish bloodline. So whether he take up the seat in Rome or or take up the seat from the the king behind that that uh, organisation, I don't know. Uh, but 
that Antichrist will come and the false church will be looking to him and they'll think he's the Messiah because they won't know how to recognise because they've rejected Christ. They'll be the outpouring of strong delusion and, and they'll be deceived and they'll be waiting for the Christ to come but he, the Antichrist will come. Christ has already been. He is and he's f completed his work and if you've believed that you're saved and you're you're delivered from that period, you're delivered from hell and you're delivered from death. You've received life. And that's uh, an invitation to anyone who's lost and I'm gonna close it there, leave these thoughts with you and um, I hope they've been a comfort and edifying to someone and I hope to somebody looking for light and truth and I'm gonna just leave that warning to uh, consider if you're not saved, if you're not a believer, to investigate these things honestly and evaluate the truth for yourself. And the, the, the Lord will teach you the truth. But if you don't believe, you're not going to believe in the truth that is and that's established. You'll only see what, what you believe the truth is and what other people tell you the truth. And that's divided and indifferent and you will never really be founded on the truth to, to comprehend what that truth is for yourself and establish it for yourself. Having it, not establish, having it established within yourself because you've not received it. So I'll leave that invitation and it's simply repentance and belief and faith and call upon the name of the Lord and he will save you. And you don't need any, 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 any priest, any religion, you just need to call out in faith and seek the, the living God of all your heart. And once you're saved, you just remain in the basement. You remain uh, a saved reprobate that you once was, but you are a son of God. And you are able to live in his spirit, in his way, in his word. And that word will be with you daily. And that life will... Um, bring forth fruit in your life and you will continue believing in that in that faith that you first believed in at the beginning in the Lord you put your faith in at the beginning once you've received it you've got it daily by faith if you reject it you you remain under condemnation uh, as it says in John chapter chapter 3 and the Lord said you must be born again you must be born of the Holy Spirit you must be got born of God's righteousness to change that which is within you, to receive that which is not within you. And that's Christ's righteousness. And you will be known by God. He will make himself known within your life, in your heart. And you'll be a spiritual son or daughter of, of Jesus Christ, of God. And when you when you when you when you die or you're taken from this earth in the uh, the calling away the, the snatching away of the bride, you will put off your sinful fallen nature and put on a you're already received that incorruptible nature in Christ, and then you will put on an incorrup incorruptible body. But you can't put on that incorruptible body without an incorruptible heart, without his righteousness, without his spirit. And that's why the, uh, the wicked will go to hell in eternal death. Their corruption won't be able to put on an incorruptible body. Their, their eternal corruption will put on an eternal corrupt body and they will remain as a soup. They will not be able to remain or sustain any life because they've rejected the life giver and they will burn in the lake of fire. And that's something you should fear. So I invite you to fear God and receive him and seek him with all your heart and be saved. And I'll leave there in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.